fellow astronauts encounter something impossible on the moon. The astronauts see something down on the lunar surface. There's a strange light down there. All right. There's something there, and it looks like smoke. Declassified NASA transcripts reveal the astronauts are unable to explain what they saw. Whatever this phenomena is, this is beyond strange. On a clear winter's morning, the $113 million Saturn V rocket towers over Kennedy Space Center. So we have ignition sequence start. At 7.51 a.m., it blasts off. The engines are on. Four, three, two. In just 10 minutes, it carries the Apollo 8 capsule beyond Earth's atmosphere. Apollo 8 is mankind's first mission into deep space. They're heading into unknown territory. These will be the first people to orbit the moon. We don't know what we're going to find. We don't know what's out there. After crossing over 230,000 miles of space, Apollo 8 finally reaches its destination. Apollo 8, all systems go. See you on the other side. As the capsule's orbit passes behind the moon, Apollo 8 loses radio contact with Earth. For 45 minutes, the astronauts are further from Earth than any human has ever been. Mission control won't know until they re-emerge. Have they made it? Apollo 8, Apollo 8, this is Houston. Ground control waits, the media waits, the world waits. Apollo 8, Houston, over. When the spacecraft reappears, the crew seems unharmed by their ordeal. Then hear your voice. The mission is a success. The secret of what they saw during their isolation remains undiscovered for years. On the backside of the moon, where your communications are cut off from the Earth, there's a recording device on board that records anything that's being said. NASA transcribes the recordings and seals them in the archives. They remain classified for years. When amateur investigators discover the contents of those recordings, they're astonished. In the final minutes before heading back to Earth, the crew has a very bizarre conversation. There's a strange light down there. Is it a bonfire? It might be some campfires. And what the transcript shows is quite extraordinary. The astronauts see something down on the lunar surface. They see lights. And they actually say, there's something down there. It, it looks like a fire. These are two NASA astronauts on an Apollo mission talking about seeing a campfire or a bonfire on the surface of the moon. This is beyond strange. There's no ambiguity in the language. Borman says bonfire. Anders suggests campfire. Uh, those are the words they really use. You've got everybody standing on their heads down here. There is no visual record of what the Apollo 8 astronauts saw. Telemetry and radar tracking both solid. Velocity 27,800 feet per second. But just seven months later, the Apollo 11 mission captures an image of a phenomenon similar to what Borman and Anders described. Whatever this phenomena is, it's been visually ID'd by one Apollo crew and photographed by another. At high magnifications, the image becomes pixelated. But there is speculation these marks could be what the Apollo 8 crew described as smoke. This is not some rumor or some conspiracy. This is something that is documented officially. Investigators rule out the possibility the astronauts saw a natural phenomenon. 
There's no free oxygen on the moon, so you're not going to have a fire on the, uh, on the surface. It's just physically impossible. But there's something there, and it looks like smoke. We know it can't be a campfire, so it has to be something else. One alternative source of oxygen, and therefore fire, could be spacecraft debris. There is oxygen in the fuel of a rocket. So one theory is, could this be part of a rocket impacting on the lunar surface? After reaching the moon, the Apollo craft jettisons its stage three rocket booster. Could this be responsible for the Apollo 8 bonfire sighting? I suppose it's a possibility. I guess there might be some smoke from it. There's still some fuel on board. NASA tracks and documents the path of every separated booster. These records contradict the rocket theory. When NASA look at the rockets from Apollo 8, they find, no, they have not impacted the lunar surface. They're still in orbit. That still leaves the question of what were the astronauts seeing? Apollo program geologist Pete Schultz has a theory that could explain the sightings. Could it be uh, that there was some form of eruption, but eruption of cold gas? Could this have been what they saw? The moon is supposed to be geologically dead, but Schultz has found evidence that a hardened lava lake on the moon contains trapped pockets of gas. Occasionally, these vent into space. We've been looking at some features on the moon, and we see evidence that there must have been some form of degassing event that threw up dust. If these eruptions catch the sunlight, they can look like smoke. But the lava lake is thousands of miles away from the Apollo sighting, so it's unlikely that this is what the crew witnessed. They saw this on the other side of the moon. That isn't the area that you would expect to see eruptions. Astronauts who have studied the lunar surface agree that this could not account for the Apollo 8 sightings. I went around the moon 75 times, and I never saw anything like that. And my orbit was high inclination enough that I saw a good share of the lunar surface. So we're left with this question again. What really did they see? The mysterious sightings remain unexplained.